Hello, everybody. Roll on drums because Mark of the Unicorn has released Digital Performer version 9. The, any whole digit upgrade is a very exciting moment. I just thought I'd give you a quick look at one or two of my favorite new features. Um, quite a lot of them happen in the sequence window. Here's a little audio sequence here. Now, if nowadays, if you go in here, there's the traditional waveform. But this bit is really lovely. Look, if you go in here and go to view mode, you can look at a spectrogram. <laughs> How much fun is that? So the spectrogram display is <clears throat> obviously the, the traditional waveform basically displays volume. This displays frequency as well. So you can see where the bases come in there and you can see the frequency distribution. Uh, it's very nice. It's actually quite useful. I thought it was just sort of a bit of eye candy to sell it, but really it is a bit useful. The other really cool thing is, in the past, as, you know, as DP users will know, it was a bit of a pain trying to edit um, automation detail. But now, uh, like that, when it's like that, you go, oh my god, that's terrible. So it's now got this bit here, show lanes, ka -ching! And then you can have all the controllers separated out uh, for example, uh, that insert there, uh, separately, so you can go in and you can adjust it and you can draw it and it's all lovely. So this is a major productivity enhancement over the old way of doing things. Um, one, of the, one of the things which people haven't talked about very much with this is actually, if you're working on a really big template, uh, it's always been a pain to try and create them. But now, if you want to add... OK, so if we want to, let's add, for example, um, uh, some VSL Ensemble Pro Mass. Here we go. If we're going to build a really big template, for example, say we had eight of those, uh, boink, like that. We've got eight of those. Now we want to add some MIDI tracks to control them. This is the very good bit. Look. So what you can do is you choose your motu port there so that's one let's go down and have uh, this is machine two add him this is machine three so normally you would have to go through every single track adding it individually but look at this okay we'll just do these first three here say we want 16 tracks for each of these ports like this 16 okay 16 uh, maybe we want the inputs to go consecutively. Oh, no, not the inputs, the outputs to go consecutively. Hang on, what am I talking about? No, I want outputs, don't I? That's the one, yes. There we go. So outputs consecutively. So it'll go mini channel one, two, three, etc. Output consecutively, output consecutively. Maybe we want, uh, we'll have some stereo outputs. Uh, say we'll have eight of those. Uh, maybe we'll have to add to our little, pr what else do we need? Uh, oh, we could do with some auxes, actually. We could do with, uh, say, six auxes. Right, OK. Uh, ready? Roll of drums. Wham! I mean, look, that would have taken hours before. Hours and hours and hours. So now you can actually build really complicated, large-scale, um, and look, here we go, look, there's, there's the, the thing, channel 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and all the rest of it. So uh, it's, it's something, it's actually better than the uh, facility which is available in uh, Logic and Cubase, I think. I mean, although they've been able to add multiple tracks for a while, that is definitely a, a very significant step up. And there's also... Um, another nice thing um, is uh, they've got, you can automate pretty much any aspect of any um, plug-in now. Um, you, can, you can target it with a, with a MIDI controller and things like that. It's really, really good. And um, also you've got a, a, cho a choice of these new themes, so you can make it, uh, if you go into the preferences and you go to themes, where's themes gone? You can make it look lovely. You can choose... Themes, there we go. The new default one is this, which looks slightly logic -y, doesn't it? But no, it doesn't. It looks like, it actually it looks quite distinctive. It's not, like, it's not like anything. Look, you've got tons to choose from. Anyway, I really like this upgrade. I think it's great. And 
there's new instruments and all kinds and new plugins and things like that. But it's these little incremental things which make a huge difference to the sort of overall uh, enjoyment if you spend many hours in front of DP as I do. Anyway, just thought I'd um, give you a quick run through with that. And you'll see me using this, obviously, in some of the other scoring videos which we put up from time to time. So um, if you're a DP user, upgrade to DP9 and enjoy. Thank you.